Hi guys, my name's Thomas Busby and welcome to part three of finding out Fujifilm's best lens for wildlife photography. In this episode, we're looking at autofocus speeds from all the different Fujifilm lenses, find out which one's the fastest and slowest. Plus, actually for most of the video, we're gonna talk about some of the autofocus quirks I discovered while doing this test. Now I know I have explained in the past how I plan to do this autofocus test, but I thought I'd recap it a little bit just to open honesty of how these numbers were created and also just because things have changed a little bit in the past. So to start with I set up a giant Siemens star literally just behind me here, and then I set my camera up maybe 7 to 8 meters away. I then with every single lens focused to infinity, manually, and then autofocus back to that star. I did that over and over and over, and then worked out average times to get an average focus speed. See, there are a few things that will affect autofocus speed. Zoom, aperture, distance, atmospheric conditions, light. All of these were exactly the same for every single shot. So while this is a lab test, not a real world test, your numbers out in existence shooting wildlife will be different to what I get today. What we're looking at though is a comparative speed. And so to keep things, everything exactly the same, I also shot every single lens at 200 millimeters at f10, f11, f10, sorry. And then the reason I did that is so to rule out that zoom factor. Now there is one exception to this, which is the 50 to 140, which can only go to 140 millimeters. So this was tested with the 1.4 times Tully converter, bringing it to 198 millimeters, close enough. The only reason the 50 to 140 is in this series is because it works with the Tully converters. So it, it does throw things off a little bit because it might have that Tully converter holding speed back which we're going to talk about a little bit later on towards the end of the video, but in the end, the results worked out like this. Actually, on a quick little side note, for every lens that has this autofocus distance limiter, it's got a little five with an infinity symbol, all lenses were tested with this limiter turned on, not that it made any difference. But the reason I'm bringing that up is this limiter doesn't quite do what it says. See, when you turn it on, it's meant to stop the lens from autofocusing up to less than five meters away, just to reduce the range it needs to check for autofocus. But with every lens that I tested this on, with the limiters turned on, I could still autofocus at less than that distance, say even up to 1.5, two meters, depending on the minimum distance, it would still check. So this limiter on each lens doesn't do what it says. However, from more extreme testing, if you turn the autofocus limiter on, it will improve autofocus speed still by about 60%, which is awesome. Like that's, It's still kind of doing what we want. It is improving autofocus speed, but it just doesn't do what it says, which is a bit odd, but still awesome that it's there for the lenses that have it. For those that are wondering, it's the 7300, the 100 to 400, and the 200 millimeter F2. Those three lenses, nice, awesome improvement in autofocus speed. If you flick that little limiter, on, not off. <laughs> in sixth place, the XC 50 to 230 Mark II took on average nearly two seconds to focus. Two seconds for the record is incredibly painfully slow. In fifth place, the 55 to 200 took on average 1.06 seconds. And third equal was the 50 to 140 and the 100 to 400, getting 0 0.62 and 0 0.61. 0 0.01 second of a difference, that could just be I didn't do enough tests, so we're calling that third equal. In second place, the 70 to 300 at 0 0.56. And in first place, zero surprises here, the 200 millimeter with 0 0.47 seconds focus speed. So that's it, done. Video complete, right? Nothing else to share, we know our speeds. Well, see things really got hairy once I started adding the Tully converters. Now I was gonna save a lot of the Tully converter information for next week's episode, but because it had such an effect on autofocus, we're gonna share that information now. Oh, I actually also tested every single lens at max zoom on the star just because I wanted more information and it didn't change focus speeds at all. I was worried a little bit about that 200 millimeter, like that certain part of the lens affecting focus speeds, but at max zoom, getting closer to the star, so the star's over to my side now, no longer behind me, it didn't change autofocus speed because the detail in that star is exactly the same the whole way through. It, it, this represents the whole range of the lens I'm, I'm pretty comfortable on. The 7300 focuses differently. Sometimes it will not give focus, but be sharp, and sometimes it said it's in focus one frame before it was. So to explain this, like, it would let you shoot one frame before it was in focus, which is a little bit 
odd maybe this is a pro for wildlife photography because if you're doing a burst it's it's shooting it's making up for that little bit of a human delay maybe right before it's in focus this is this is odd but it did it with the 1.4 times tally converter focus speed was reduced by only about three percent so pretty much three percent is nothing that could just be do more tests Though, that is amazing with a tally converter, but failure rate increased by about 30%. Now that 30% increase in failure rate you'll see starts to come pretty much the standard with that 1.4 times tally converter. Well the 2 times tally converter made this lens about 38% slower, but no change in hit rate. With the 2 times tally converter for my test, the camera would fail focus nearly every single time when using AFS or AFC, but would nail focus every single time when using back button focusing. Now, as this was the first lens I tested, this really threw me off, and I was wondering why all my focusing was missing when using the shutter button. And so that's the, the front button you push when to take a photo. When trying to focus with that, it was just missing, 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 like 90, 95% of the time. This is with a Tully converter, but when I changed the back button focus, it hit it every single time. This is such a weird phenomenon. I thought it might have been, say, the processor taking up some of the power, but then, it only does it with the tele converters and it changes that like this back button to focus button changes with every other lens so this is weird but just to recap on that when using the 7300 if you're using a tele converter i got a huge improvement in af hit performance when back button focusing versus using the shutter button focusing i guess this also could be a flaw of my test but as it focuses absolutely fine when using some focus modes and it changes with lens or tele converter combinations i don't know what's going on there See the 50 to 140 on the other hand absolutely hated back button focusing when using a tally converter and I got phenomenally more reliable results when using AFS or AFC on the shutter button. Once again, very odd. So 50 to 140 use the shutter button, not back button focusing. With the 1.4 times tally converter, I noticed about a 30% slower autofocus performance, but no increase in AF misses. And it absolutely hated the two times tally converter at 2.18 times slower AF, though once again no increase in misses. So while the 50 to 140 with tally converters will focus every single time, it definitely gets noticeably slower to focus. Like especially that two times real painfully slow to focus once you add those tally converters. The 100 to 400 is pretty straightforward. 1.5 times slower with the 1.4 times tally converter and a 40% worse hit rate. That 100 400s hit rate with autofocus when doing this test, so not real world once again, but when doing this test was noticeably worse, at 40% worse hit rate. With the two times tally converter, things got about 1.3 times slower with the tally converter and maybe a 5% worse hit rate. Now when I talk about these hit rates, I'm only doing like maybe 20, 30 focuses with every single lens, not hundreds of focuses. It takes me five minutes to shoot and analyze every single focus and when I'm doing hundreds already I don't want to put that out to thousands otherwise this video will just never get done so a slight increase in miss rate with a two times tally converter most likely now once again I need to stress that this test was done in a lab environment not in the real world situation but still those different focusing modes when using a tally converter or not using a tally converter and which button and which focus type you use makes a drastic difference and it's it actually really shocked me this could all change with a firmware update, and I'm hoping those would happen. Fujifilm really do need to work on their autofocus algorithm a little bit. But in a nutshell, if you're using a tally converter, expect your speed and your hit rate to drop a little bit. With one giant exception. The 1.4 times tally converter that's made and comes with the 200mm lens. This tally converter is clearly made to work with this lens. When using this, I actually noticed a slight 0.1% increase in autofocus speed. So we'll say no difference at all, though I still did notice maybe a 30% increase in hit rate, or decrease, sorry, in hit rate. And then when using the two times tally converter, things got maybe a 30% slower autofocus. So the two times not quite as good, but when using the 1.4 that comes with the two 200 millimeter lens, autofocus doesn't change. This is an awesome exception. And I thought this might have just been a color difference to work with heat. But we're going to cover this off a little bit more next week. But in a nutshell, when using autofocus with that tally converter and this lens, you don't lose anything. That's that's awesome. I'm actually really proud they optimized one just to go with their highest end lens. But one major thing this video doesn't cover is how those tally converters affect 
everything else. Sharpness, depth of field, aperture. That's going to be next week's video. If you'd like to see that, how those tele converters really affect everything else, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to support what I'm doing here, please head over to my website and consider buying a print. Or if purchasing a print isn't within your budget at the moment, please just like, share, and subscribe. It always means the world to me, guys. Thank you very much for making it to the end. But otherwise, until next time, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>